Emily Mangus is hoping to bring new life to the human liver and extend the lifespan of those with liver ailments. I want to see if I can sort of visualize the cells within the gel. In the spring of 2011, the University of Kansas School of Engineering doctoral student in bioengineering received a three-year $90,000 National yeah, Science good. Foundation Graduate Research yeah, Fellowship. Right now, I'm just growing cells. Mangus's groundbreaking research will focus on finding a breakthrough in liver regeneration. The key to her work is a moldable, injectable substance known as a colloidal gel. I'm hoping that this gel can be um, used as either a bridge for transplantation, so allow a patient to um, survive long enough to receive a transplant, or it actually could even be used in some cases as an actual treatment procedure. Mangus now spends the bulk of her time in the lab researching the best ways to integrate native liver tissue with the gel. Her day-to-day -day work is essentially the building blocks of science and the fun of engineering. And I'm also trying to make sure that cells can actually um, get in and out of this material. I want cells to be able to move through it. Um, I don't want it to be a barrier for any kind of um, liver regeneration. It's a lot of trial and error. I've had plenty of error, <laughs> that's for sure. Mangus is conducting her research in association with the KU Medical Center and under the guidance of Corey Berkland and Michael Dedimore, both associate professors of chemical and petroleum engineering at KU. Mangus is excited about the prospects of her work. It's really cool because I'm working on something that, you know, no one's ever done. So that's really exciting to me. For the KU School of Engineering, I'm Cody Howard.